welcome to the fifth lecture of the series and in this lecture we will be discussing some numericals which were asked in the previous gate exams now in 2003 this particular question appeared in the gate exam in this uh, certain information such as the threshold voltage of the device was given a mosfet was given for which vt is 0.4 volt as we can see vt is positive so this is basically an nmos device we can predict it vgs that is the gate to source voltage was given 0.9 volt it was given that the device is in saturation it is already given we don't have to find it out and id was given as 1 milliampere now it was given that the same device is now subject to a different gate to source voltage that is 1.4 volt and now for this particular vgs we have to find out the drain current and it is also given that uh, after vgs becomes 1.4 volt still uh, the device is in saturation only so we will have two cases both the cases are for the same device and in both the cases the device is in saturation now we discussed in the last lecture that the drain current uh, is equal to k into vgs minus vt whole square this equation we will be using for the uh, solving of this particular numerical now the same equation we write down for the second case that is id dash is equal to see k remains same here because k is dependent upon the device parameters and the device is same so k will remain same here vgs becomes vg dash vgs dash here v threshold remains the same since the mosfet device is the same so we get two equations relating the drain current with the input voltages so i divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 doing this we get this particular equation k gets cancelled here now we can put all the values since uh, we know all the values except id dash so we can find the unknown id dash as it is shown here so the final result for the drain current which we get is 4 milliamperes so when vgs becomes 1.4 volt the drain current which is obtained is 4 milliamperes now next uh, next question we'll come on to uh, it was asked in 2004 this question says that vgs is equal to vds v threshold is given to be equal to 1 volt id is 1 milliampere for vgs equal to 2 volts similarly when vgs dash is now 3 volt we have to find the value of the drain current now please note down here that we do not know the operation uh, region for the mos device here we can predict since vt is positive the device will be n mos but the region of operation is to be predicted now how we are going to do that we will apply the conditions we discussed in the previous lecture first of all let's observe that the v threshold here is how it is related to your vgs how it is related to the uh, vds minus vgs that we have to see now we had two conditions that is vt greater than vgs and vt less than vgs now when v uh, vt was greater than vgs then the device was in the cut off region so here we can compare with the first and second case in both the cases vgs is always greater than vt here it is 2 volt here it is 3 volt 2 and 3 both are greater than 1 volt so the device is not in the cut off region next we have to check for the linear or saturation region now for for that what we have to do is we have to compare the value of vds with the value of vgs minus vt this will help us uh, to know the value of the uh, current basically now since it is given vds and vgs are equal if we are comparing we can cancel these two and the value of vt is 1 if i put minus 1 so this is zero here Minus one is always less than zero, so this symbol can be represented by less than. So we remember when VDS was greater than uh, VGS minus VT, the uh, the device used to be in the saturation region. So from here we can predict that the device is in saturation region. I'll repeat how we did this. 
first of all we have found that vgs is greater than vt this condition is satisfied then we prove that vds is greater than vgs minus vt so these two conditions prove that the device is in saturation now next we come on to how we solve this numerical again as we did previously we will write two equations since these are the equations of current in the saturation region these can be applied then again we divide both the equations and now we can put the value of uh, we have to find the value of id dash so my id dash will be equal to id that is 1 milliampere into vgs dash which, which is given to us as 3 minus vt which is 1 here then upon vgs vgs was 2 here 2 minus 1 whole square so this becomes 1 into 4 that is 4 milliampere so 4 milliampere is the result id dash is 4 milliampere for this particular case and this is the solution